London's always been a place of opportunity, a city of opportunity. We need to make that a city which allows, which is for everyone and not just a few, once again. We can do that, but it does mean that we need to work with uh, the multinational corporates, we need to work with various uh, companies which have their bases in London and see what opportunities they can create for young Londoners uh, and also Londoners who are already established here. London needs to be seen increasingly as, uh, as, as, a, as a city that most successful cities would want to be like in terms of diversity uh, and integration. We have such a huge amount of uh, talent available in London. My vision for London is, is, a, is a London where uh, women in the city can participate fully and live to the same standards as everybody else. Um, last year in London alone, uh, women earned £70 billion less than men. That's a transformative sum. And if we can start to look at why that's happening, we can build policies so that women can participate within the economy and that men can participate in their family lives more, then you start to have a whole different kind of, of life, of living. I don't think that it's all about some grand strategy to pull down the rich or to redistribute income through some top-down method. What we need to do is to make families and local communities function really well and that's a job for all of us. There isn't something that any single politician, even the Mayor of London, is able to do but we should be thinking all the time about what makes the quality of local life better. We can only tackle the housing crisis by doing whatever we can as individuals but also by having some big political action. So as individuals, if you're not living in all the rooms of your house, can you let one out to a lodger? If you're a landlord yourself, can you let your property at a lower than market rent? Can you be an exemplary ethical landlord for your tenants? But that isn't quite enough. We need to make sure that all the public land is actually used for building new housing on. And that new housing has to be a mixture of housing. I think we need to pat ourselves on the back and realise we've done an impressive job in respect of that. But we can't rest on our laurels and we need to continue working hard to remain that beacon of hope for people around the world. You think of London, you think of diversity, you, you think of the London Olympics, you think of all that that brought about how London is in, as a city. And I think there's a lot we can celebrate and a lo lot that we can do to ensure that we don't forget that legacy and continue that legacy for as long as we can. What we really need to see is that all cities and parts of the UK being empowered to make their own way and to prosper and the way to do that is to devolve power much more to the cities and to local communities. I'd like to see the same deal that Manchester is getting come to London so that we can have control over taxation and criminal justice and healthcare and so on uh, and then we might see actually a competition between the major cities of the UK in which everybody is free to prosper as best they can.